Guitar Stage Moves by the Numbers. First, we'll begin with tips for a seated performance. As we can see here, the performer has her foot elevated using a foot prop with the guitar resting on her left leg. For this style of guitar, we see them resting the instrument on their right leg. Ask your teacher which leg is preferred for your particular piece. When performing in the classical style with your teacher, try and keep the guitar necks parallel. This helps the performance to look more uniform. In this clip, notice the placement of the microphones. Far enough from the instrument that they won't get in the way of the performer, but close enough that you can still hear the music. Now let's explore some moves for a standing guitar performance. Number one, the windmill. This move was first made popular by Pete Townsend from The Who. Step one, lower your strap. Step two, hold your guitar out away from your body. Step three, swing your extended picking arm in a windmill motion, either clockwise or counterclockwise. The windmill's an advanced move, so ask your teacher if you're ready. Number two, the duck walk. As one of the most influential guitarists of all time, Chuck Berry invented the duck walk to accompany his solos on stage. The duck walk can be used during a guitar solo to get the guitarist from one side of the stage to the other in a fun and entertaining way for the audience. Number three, headbang. One of the most classic ways to get into the moves as a guitarist is to headbang along to the beat. This move always gets a great response from your audience because they love to see a performer get into the music just as much as they are. Number four, power stance. Hey, you're the lead guitarist and we are counting on you for some style, brother! So try this out. This is an ancient technique. It's called power stance. That's it, power stance. You own the universe. Power stance is a very effective way of standing on stage to show that you're confident in what you're playing and that you do own the stage. Number five, jump. If you want a surefire way to pump up the crowd while you're playing on stage, jump in the air and land on a downbeat. Standing on a drum kit's not recommended, but you gotta admit, the crowd loves this guy. The jump can also be a very effective way to end a song. Number six, power slide, or go low. Being that a power slide is a pretty advanced move, the next best thing is going to your knees and playing guitar from there. This puts you on the same level as the audience and lets you know that you're there to play for them. Getting down on your knees during a performance is a great way to express the emotion of the music.
Number seven, lean back. Leaning back while playing guitar shows your level of comfort while playing your instrument. It's a classic way to rock out and impress your audience. It's also another great way to show the emotional impacts of the music. Number eight, reach the sky or chop. Point the neck and headstock of your guitar up towards the sky and then bring it down in a chopping motion to show ultimate control of your instrument. This move is used all the time by guitarists. It's kind of a visual representation of musical expression. The chop can also be used to cue hits or stabs in a song. And the indication of an ending. Number nine, use your space. As a performer of any kind, you want to utilize all the space that you have on stage. Using your space on stage draws the attention of your audience and makes your performance that much more entertaining. It's our job as performers to move around and put on a good show, so use your space and have fun while doing it. Number 10, Guitar Faces. By far the most effective way to show your emotion on stage is by using facial expressions. Most of the time these are just natural movements that your face makes while you're playing music. Here we see a great example of how well facial expressions help a performer to get into the song. Check out the legendary Steve Vai using a lot of the moves that we learned in this video. Use the moves that you learned in this video in your own performances. And remember, you can play guitar all day long, but selling the feeling of the song is what the audience will remember.